Now, there's many times that you may want to run a macro automatically, so rather than pushing on a button for the customer to push. Let's have a look at some examples I've got up here. I've generated some macros called lighting status, where we're going to the M1, polling the M1 for the light status. We've got some other status where we're polling the M1 for the security system status, light status, output status, etc. So once we've got those, what it gives me the ability to do, if I go to lighting status, I can drag that down on directly onto the GUI page. When I drop it on there, it, then you can see it up um, in the macro um, generator. And when we open that page up, um, when we run that, it's going to automatically go poll for the status. So the status of the globe, status of the percentage, etc., will automatically be updated. Um, we may also want to run the M1 status. If I run that down and go to perhaps floor plans, whenever we run the floor plans, which we have the status of some lighting, status of some outputs, status of the lock, etc., status of the security system, it'll go and poll the M1, get that status and instantly display that um, on the GUI page. And I can go and load that onto any page that we wish to run and it will run that page. If I wanted to, I can launch a macro directly onto the GUI group. So if I was to put, for example, M1 status on the GUI group, whenever I launch the app on the iPad or iPhone, it will automatically run that macro. Now that's great, as I said, for things like lighting status, security status, but it could be going and getting the status of the AV gear. Is the TV on? Is the AV gear on? If you're getting two-way feedback from that, as soon as you open the page, you can see what TV channel it's on um, or what the state of the DVR, uh, the DVD player, Blu-ray player is. So there's some examples where you may want to launch it directly onto the um, GUI group or the page. If I wanted to know is that program to do so, if I open up this lighting page, for example, edit that and go up to GUI group, we'll see the page macros. So we can see when the app starts, what, part, what app macros are running, and when the page starts, what macros are running. So you can take the macro off from running that page if you wanted to, select it from here or select other macros as well. So as I said, very powerful um, feature that allows us to generate macros or run the macros when a page or an application is loaded.